It's a company called Veleman that makes the Allbot expandable robot system. And they sent us one of these for us to unbox, evaluate, and put together. Cool. Yeah. Let's check it out. What do you think of it, Felix? You think it looks pretty cool? Looks sort of neat. It looks like it'd be fun. Yeah. It's the optional smartphone IR transmitter and then two extra legs. Ah, uh, the accessories, okay. Well, if it's an IR transmitter, that, means, that must mean the IR receiver is on the board. I guess we'll find out. Hey, plastic. We yeah, I got a big box Yeah, cool. I've been collecting it. Oh yeah, there's some sort of infrared app that's on your phone. Are there instructions or do we have to use the internet? Oh, looks like there's something here. Whoa, whoa. that was the battery pack. Comes with a bunch of screws. Cool. And a screwdriver. And yeah, a nice one. four servos? This must be some sort of shield for the Arduino. That's the amazing. Arduino has become like the light socket of the kit world. It's so ambiguous. Wait, <laughs> ambiguous. That's not the right word. That's like, oh, this uh, is like for a mega. Yeah, we don't have any of those. Are you sure we don't? So we have a battery board, which is mostly just breakouts, and then a motor driver board, which is also just breakouts. Oh, look, there's the IR receiver right there. Switch, big capacitor, probably for the servos, and a speaker. This is probably gonna, yeah, and this is probably gonna be a five volt power coming from here. Oh yeah, see? That way you don't have to drive the five volts for the servos through the Arduino. You would just send the signals. You want to check out that part? Oh, I suppose including the Arduino Mega would increase the cost. This kind of looks like a Metal Gear robot. You know how it's like, stands up? It's a mech mortar kind of thing. Oh, you can put the regular Oh on. yeah, look, okay, uh, let me grab one. I'll be right back. Felix and I have begun assembling the Allbot. There are two legs and each leg has two servos. The servos act as hips and knees. And apparently the software makes them move in tandem to make the robot walk back and forth. We're not exactly sure yet. This is like the movie Contact when they're building that machine and they don't know what it does. It's very much how this feels. So we start with the legs and we work our way up to the main body, starting with the feet, then the hips. And after that, there's a middle portion which is going to contain the battery pack, the control breakout board, and an Arduino to give it some brains. There is an option to put on an infrared receiver so you can control it with your smartphone, but we were not given that. Okay, Felix, what do you think about the Valiman Allbot kit? I think it's a really fun kit for a, you know, a teenager. I mean, I could imagine when I was a kid, I would have had hours of fun playing with this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some of the instructions weren't entirely clear. Like they had two different sections. They had a setting up the Arduino section and a putting it together section. Yeah. But putting it together required the Arduino section because you have to center the servos. So I kind of wish those were either combined or, you know, the same document. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, center the servos first and then put it together. So that part was a little unclear. Some of the drawings, like the orientation of the screws and where to put everything, you know, they had they had transparent drawings for some reason and then they went to, to solid drawings and it was a little confusing as to where to put the stuff. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, in the end it worked. Also the out of box code or the example code didn't seem to work at all. Uh, so we had to write our own routine to get it to work, you know, as well as this. And then one of these pinouts seemed to be switched around. Yeah. Either in the drawing or in the code. But again, that was a big part of our problem. You know, it was trying to move its ankle, but it was instead of moving its hip and it was falling over. You know, I have a thought about that. Maybe that was intentional to frustrate people, to see who's really got the tenacity to figure it out, to go through, the, to go that extra mile. Well, that's the thing. It's like, we're used to dealing with um, troubleshooting, but if someone's just expecting this to be an out of the box plug and play kit, they're like, why isn't this working? And some people might not think like, well, what if this is backwards? You know, we're used mm -hmm. to things being backwards, but other people might not be, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, so, you know, maybe we'll play around with the walk cycles a little bit more here. I mean, we, we do have it walking forward eventually and it's not tipping over. I mean, we're going really slow with the speed, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool kit. So uh, thanks for sending this for us to check out on the show.